In medical news, a recent study led by the University of Adelaide in Australia promises to improve the accuracy of prostate cancer diagnoses with the help of biomarkers in seminal fu fluid. Um, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men and it's often challenged challenging to diagnose. The commonly used PSA tests can result in overdiagnosis and unnecessary further procedures. Dr. Stacy Loeb is a urologist at New York University and joins us to talk about this new research. Welcome to Arise America. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, so this is really fascinating, uh, fascinating study and, and I think that it could be really important for diagnosis of prostate cancer. Absolutely. As you mentioned, we have the PSA test and it does save lives. It's currently the way that most most prostate cancers are diagnosed and is very important, but it's not a perfect test. So we're constantly looking for better tests that can be used to help men find out about prostate cancer early. And Dr. Love, I know you didn't participate on this particular study, but you're very familiar with it. Uh, what do you make of these findings? How, uh, how exciting are they and how likely are they to uh, come to bear soon for you? Right. Well, it's really just a proof of principle study. It was only with 60 patients in Australia. So a lot of more work needs to be done, but it is very exciting to think that you could take a fluid like semen and potentially check for markers of prostate cancer. Uh, explain, now use words that we regular folk who did not go to, well I did go to medical school, but for folk who didn't, explain how this works, how this concept works of using biomarkers to diagnose, diagnose prostate cancer. Right, so when the cancer is there, it lets off some of these substances into the blood, into the semen and the urine. So the premise is to be able to check in these fluids for some of these markers of prostate cancer. The problem is if the marker isn't perfect, then men might end up getting a prostate biopsy, which is negative or they might be diagnosed with a cancer that's not really important. So we really do need good, accurate markers for aggressive prostate cancer. The next step for this study is a bigger study? Is Absolutely, that what it... and also testing in the United States, other populations. Tell me uh, a little bit about the connection between uh, testing for prostate cancer and, uh, and the genetics of it. Absolutely. So genetics actually play a big role in prostate cancer and in the last few years there's been a revolution in our ability to test for genetic factors. So it may come to pass that in several more years men could get a test in their 30s that could tell them if they're at risk for ever developing prostate cancer. And some of these you can just check from a, a cheek swab. They're very easy to do. So it's amazing what technology is bringing forward and I think all this is very exciting news for men. What's the current statistics on the, the incidence of prostate cancer? And I want to, because of, we're here at Arise News and we serve underserved communities uh, with our, our storytelling, how does it affect then men of color? Exactly. So prostate cancer is the second leading cause of death in U.S. men as a whole, but it disproportionately affects the African-American community. African-American men are at greater risk for prostate cancer and of aggressive disease. So this is a population where we need to be extra careful about screening for the disease and where these new markers could be very important. Do we know why, why African-American men are so overrepresented in the incidence of prostate cancer? Uh, part of it could be the genetic factors, actually. There have been some studies showing that some of the genetic factors are different between African-American men and Caucasian men. So hopefully some of that is what we can try to sort through more moving forward. We spend so much time talking about women and breast cancer, and there's, some, there's been such gains in successful treatment uh, of breast cancer because of early diagnosis. Where are you in the, the treatment and the curing? Can you say that you can cure a man that's been diagnosed with prostate cancer? Absolutely. So we have made huge strides. The prostate cancer mortality rate has decreased by more than 40% in this country since we started screening with PSA. The problem is that we also pick up some cancers that are indolent, that the man may not have even known that he had during his lifetime. So getting treated for that cancer may cause an undue burden for that man. So now the focus is not just to pick up any cancer, but to find the life threatening ones only and treat those early and effectively. No, well, maybe this study will go a long way toward that. We'll leave it right there. Dr. Stacy Loeb, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.